so welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you guys so much for tuning in as always. So this week I have a special treat for you, my first head wrapping tutorial. Really quick, I wanna preface what's about to happen. This week, I took down my kinky twists. They had been in for about three weeks. It was time to just give my hair a rest. So this week, I really wanted to focus on moisturizing my hair with like oil, water, and leave-in conditioner, and also protect it from this harsh weather outside. And so I have been rocking like six jumbo size flat twists and uh, my bonnet all week and in order to get away with that I had to get really creative with my scarves and learn some new things and wrap this head up so I thought there would be nothing else better than for me to help you all as far as like head wraps I've gotten a lot of comments on my pictures and even on my videos about how people like really love my scarves so stay tuned if you want to see my collection of scarves as well as how I wrap my hair throughout this entire week all right so stay tuned so next I'm gonna show you guys about three scarves that I love to wrap my hair with. Okay, so this is by far probably my favorite <laughs> black scarf to wrap my hair with. And as you all can see, this is a very wide scarf. It's very thick, there's no holes, no openings, nothing like that. So it's not too thick, but at the same time, it's not very thin at all. So it's like right in the middle, and it's actually quite long. Really good for creating that look with a big knot in the front of your head that a lot of girls are wearing. So next is a similar scarf that you have probably seen in a lot of my pictures, is this. It's actually the exact same scarf, but in a different pattern. And then last but not least is an infinity scarf that I recently just bought. All right, so it's a little thinner. As you can see, it's kind of sheer. But what I love about this is how sturdy it is as a scarf. There is no holes and there's no seams that are missing, all right? And this is an infinity scarf. The only thing with scarves like this is that with this scarf, since it is a little bit thinner than my other scarf, is that it doesn't make really big knots. So it's gonna be a little bit smaller just because it's less material. And I really felt the need to have this conversation about what kind of scarves you should look for because for the longest, I did not know what kind of scarf to look for in order to wrap my hair. So for a really long time, I was buying the wrong scarves. And I said, all right, y'all, so now it's time to get to the fun part so I can show you all exactly how to wrap your hair. One of the first things that I do when I'm trying to achieve something like this is that I typically put my hair into about four to six large flat twists. And so then last but not least, I always have a bonnet on, no matter what. Because as you all know, scarves can be very damaging and hurtful to your hair. Okay y'all, so let's go ahead and get started. The very first head wrap that I wanna show you all is the top knot. All right, so what I'm gonna do first is grab my scarf and I like to kind of fold the back just a little bit. The piece that I'm gonna put back of my hair like so. So what I'm gonna do next is just place my scarf on the back of my head. And then I'm just gonna pull it to the front. And then what I like to do now is kind of wrap my scarf as if it is a two-strand twist. And then I'm just gonna wrap it all the way to the bottom. And you don't have to two-strand twist it. You could just twist it all the way around. That part's completely up to you. But I do like a textured look. And then once my scarf is twisted all the way to the bottom, all I'm gonna do is just continue to wrap and create a knot in the front of my head, okay? And then you're just gonna wrap it around until you can't anymore. And then I'm just gonna begin to twist and push this hair up under the knot. And voila! <laughs> Number two. So I'm just gonna take another one of my thinner scarves. This time I'm going to apply it front to back. And then I'm just gonna begin to twist it like I did with the other one, like a two strand. So then once that is complete, I'm just going to wrap it around the top of my head, like so. Once it's all the way back to the beginning, I'm just gonna wrap it around that top and then voila okay 
Okay, so for our third look, I'm gonna show you all the look that I was rocking today. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna fold the scarf in a little bit as well, just like so. And then I'm going to apply it where my bonnet is. Okay, so what we're gonna do in the back, you can either crisscross, but for more security, I do suggest that you do the over and under as if you were tying a shoe. And then I'm just gonna tie that as tight as I can. And then I'm gonna bring the remainder pieces. And then I'm just gonna begin to tie a bow. And so then with those excess pieces, I'm just gonna tuck them in. And then you can just fluff it out however you would like in order to get the desired look. And voila! <laughs> Last but not least, look number four. <laughs> it's been a long day. So all you're gonna do is take your infinity scarf, put it on, wrap it twice. All you're gonna do is pull from the back of your scarf, grab a layer, and then you're just going to gently place it over the back of your head. Okay, and y'all, I absolutely love this look, especially when it's cold outside, but you're still trying to be cute. This is great and it covers up your hair as well. And so it makes my little chunky flat twist look just a little bit better. <laughs> so you can achieve this look with almost any kind of infinity scarf. It really just depends on the material and how it falls on you and what you like. But for me, I thought this was absolutely Okay, y'all, so that is a wrap. That is all I have for you all today as far as my wrapping tutorial. I hope you guys truly enjoyed it. As always, let me know which one was your favorite look down below in the comments. And also let me know what you thought about this video. But as always, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Do not forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I will catch y'all next week. Bye.